what's up so we're back and we're making matcha brownies if anyone is an og on here they know that i am obsessed with matcha i'm trying to look at the recipe and it calls for one cup of sugar that's like way too much i'm not trying to get diabetes after i eat this so we're gonna dial that down this is my cane sugar and we're gonna do so here i have three eggs and i'm gonna do like half a cup kinda. So one fourth of a cup of brown sugar this is my brown sugar Okay, one fourth of a cup. And okay, put it back. My tip on like baking or cooking is always clean as you go. So once you use something, just put it back, and it saves you so much space. So on the stove right now, I have half a cup of butter and four ounces of white chocolate, and I'm just mixing that together it's gonna take a while i didn't put it on that high of a heat so just leaving that to melt what is the next step this recipe is on tiktok so hopefully it works okay it says one teaspoon of vanilla extract when it says like oh vanilla extract i mix these three extracts i mix a little bit of almond extract a little bit of coconut extract and vanilla bean paste so i put the most vanilla bean paste just eyeball it you know doesn't need to be exact and you want to put the least amount of uh on the next drive. literally like a quarter of a cap full like you don't want that much like you can easily go too much with almond extract and then with coconut extract, I like putting that in, so a heavy splash of that, you know? It says you're supposed to whisk the sugar and the eggs for like 10 minutes um, till it's like really fluffy. So I'm going to do that with my KitchenAid electric hand mixer. As you can see the mixture is very pale and fluffy I mixed it for about five minutes with my hand mixer it says to cool down the white chocolate and the butter before adding it to the fluffy egg mixture so this is not cool all the way but I'm gonna add like a little by little and just like mix as I go white chocolate and the butter to the eggs and now I'm gonna sift in one cup of flour Oops. okay once I sifted in the flour I'm going to sift in the matcha powder i'm just gonna put a lot i 
line this with parchment paper and then I'm going to put the brownie mixture in a 350 degree oven for like 30 to 40 minutes and halfway through I'm going to take it out and slam it on the counter to make sure it's very fudgy. Now it goes in the oven. Okay, it's done. I already started cutting it though. It looks so good. Moa, don't you agree it looks so good? Mm -hmm. It looks so good. It looks like a real brownie. Well, it is a brownie, but... Try. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is nice. Look at that. Well, that is everything. The matcha brownies are literally so delicious. I had a little bite of them and they were delicious. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later.